Good day everybody, this is Pillar from Tales Productions and welcome back to Star Trek Online. This is a free-to-play account playing through the story of a Klingon Defence Force officer. And in the last episode we completed the first two episodes of Empire, so Duties of Command and The Hunt is On. And today we're going for Space Chase and depending on how long that lasts we might fit Manhunt in as well. I'm not sure yet. The thing is, I think me cancelling the um, on-screen button means I didn't get to see the intro to the quest for some reason. So playing through the entire Federation storyline, I don't think it automatically started missions. I might be wrong, but I don't think it did. So for some reason, this seems to be automatically starting the missions after I complete the last one. So I'm already on Space Chase, and I didn't see... To to and recapture that prisoner. I didn't see the intro, but apparently I've got to go to Sector Space and then to Boreth. So let's do that now. So basically, the prisoner escaped. I've got to chase him. But I missed the thing that actually told me to do that. And this is my first look at sector space from a Klingon point of view, so that's quite cool. Oh wow, he's gone all the way over there already. Um, so I've got to follow the shuttle to Boreth. Um, so that is quite a way off, actually. So I, I'll have to meet you there. So here we are approaching the Boreth system, and wow, finally. I really forgot how long it took to travel around in these lieutenant ships. It is so slow. Let's continue space chase. Captain, the warp trail ends here. What are your orders? Scan every inch of this system until we find him. Yeah. Sir, we've begun the scans. We'll start at a range of five Kelly cams and work our way out from there. Kapla. Sir, I recommend modifying the navigational beacons of the system to amplify our efforts in locating the prisoner. I agree. Let's cloak. You never know. The first one's over here. I can fill full impulse while cloaked, right? I can. Awesome. Are you a little bit slower though? Because this doesn't seem that fast either. Let's modify that. Okay, modified. Uh, I'm going to go and get this R&D thing. Oh, there's another one. Just because it's so nearby. Do, 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 do. And I haven't done it for a while. <laughs> I seem to forget to do it on the other playthrough. Ah, so you can't cloak and interact with things. That's interesting. Or well, not R&D anyway. I, I did the beacon without decloaking. You? I am impressed. I thought Doran was the right choice for command, but apparently even I can be wrong. The KDF will do well with you in their ranks. You have the tenacity of a rabid targ. Uh, cut the flattery and cut your engines. You're going back to Kronos with me. As much as I might deserve to rot in a Klingon jail cell and be interrogated to within an inch of my life on a daily basis, <laughs> I have unfinished business. It's time I was going. I'll follow you to Earth itself if that's what it takes. I don't doubt that you would. However, I always have an escape point. I've planted a tiny subroutine in all Starfleet computers. If any vessel arrives in the Boreth system, their sensors will pick up distress beacons from dozens of destroyed Starfleet starships. In addition, when we started this conversation, I sent out a few false maydays from these phantom vessels. <laughs> ships are already responding. Cool. You've proven yourself to be a skilled warrior already. So I'm sure you know that Kalis said it was acceptable to lose a battle to save an empire. Or a ship. I suggest you leave before Starfleet arrives. Alright, Federation ships are hailing us. Put them on screen. Cling on, bird of prey. Power Ooh. down your weapons and shields. And prepare to be boarded. Nice uniform. Your ship is the one violating Klingon space. You should surrender. Our sensors are detecting several Federation distress beacons in this area. This trap is obviously your <laughs> handiwork. Surrender now, or we will be forced to open fire. 
Uh, if you want distress beacons, I suggest you prepare to activate your own. Battle stations. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to cloak. Just because I don't really understand how the cloak sort of works. They obviously can't see me. They can't fire at me. Uh, so I guess we just do... Like, setting up behind them, I guess, is the key here. Maybe that's what I need to do. Uh... I can't really tell what behind them is. All right. Let's just go here, shall we? There we go. Hmm. I need to rebind fire all torpedoes. Definitely need to do that. Could be one of those. Should I have it attached to one of my um, my button four or five on my mouse? For some reason, it's not. Easy enough fight anyway, that's good. Did I get too close to the walk over each? Good. Ooh, a command cruiser. Wow. This early on in my career. And it's all over. Alright, okay, I'll bind the um the torpedo hotkey after this. Let's hope it works. <laughs> well, I could and probably should just keep him to stay behind him, right? That's something that I should be able to do. But apparently I can't. He's more manoeuvrable than me. Whatever. Wow, what's that? Oh, he's launched fighters at me. Okay, let's get behind him, and then slow down, big turn. There we go. Try this for a bit. Nice. Much better. Ooh, a photon, photon mine launcher instead of the turret? I'm not sure. Nah, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, Alright. Ooh, some more. Uh, Alright, frigates. I don't know how I should be fighting. Okay, let's just do it. Hello? Oh, did it... Oh, man, why did it lose the target, then? That's... Is that me? Did I press the wrong button? I probably did. My torpedo just missed, as well. torpedo not kill him oh, it does feel very different to the the style of my other playthrough very different it's gonna take a bit of getting used to the uh the whole tactical style nice there we go all right so now I can just contact command. It is unfortunate that the prisoner has eluded your search. That said, 
You did uncover a Federation spy nest in the heart of First City. We've deciphered their infiltration techniques and are cracking down on their spy network within the Empire. Wow. One of my prison guards was impressed with your tenacity and asked to be <laughs> reassigned to your crew. You would be wise to accept. Yeah, a science officer then. That's good. Yeah, I'll take a science officer. Why not? And I get a new shield and walk off. Perfect. There is, work to do. Lieutenant. there is work to do. Okay, so I don't actually have to take that yet. Awesome. Alright, we're ready to leave. Yeah, let's leave the system then. From the heart of Kronos to the frozen Ooh. wastes of Rurapenthe, the Klingons have built an empire that values strength, honor, and skill in combat. To be Klingon is to be a warrior. Fight well, live with honor, die with a blade in your hand. If you can do these things, you will live forever in the stories of the great Klingon heroes. Good. I still love hearing that voice, great man. All right, so that was Space Chase. Um, a very simple, just introducing you to space combat, I guess. Obviously, there was a little bit of that in the tutorial. This is just another introduction. Seems cool enough. That's fine. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to go with a tactical officer and ship. I, I really feel a bit out of my depth with it, but um, I'm sure I'll get used to it and we'll we'll learn as we go. Um, I will quickly just make sure my uh, Gorn guy is all set up. Yeah, there he is. Thrark. Thrark? Um, so let's put Chagren and Rark on here. Cool. He's set up very much how I'd want him any, but anyway. Brilliant. Okay, cool. So there you go. That is, or well, that was, Space Chase. Great. So in the next episode, we'll be doing Manhunt. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. hope you are enjoying and I hope you will enjoy. But by far, the most important thing is to look forward to the next episode of Star Trek Online. <laughs>